Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! So sa mga bago pa lang dito sa channel ko, welcome po kayo dito. At ako nga po pala si Liz, ang inyong lingkod at ang inyong kapitbahay dito sa New Zealand. And sa mga hindi pa po nakakapag-subscribe, mag-subscribe na po kayo at i-press nyo lang po ang bell button para lagi po kayong updated sa aking mga videos. So for today's video, papakita ko po sa inyo ang pag-unbox ko po sa mga na-receive kong mga baking tools from Amazon Australia. At yung isa po is a gift from my husband's cousin na binigay po sa akin noong dumating po ako dito sa New Zealand. So ito na nga guys, dumating na ang aking order from Amazon Australia na mga pannings and mga pang decorating ng cake. So, there you go. Ayan na. Ito na yung unang bakeware set ko. Na magagamit ko sa pagbibi. And this is the next one. Yung mga pang cake decorating. Ayan. Ano na 37 pieces. Ito naman yung likod. Yan. Sobrang dami. Kompleto pati piping. At ito na nga guys. Kukunin ko na ang binigay sa akin na Breville Hand Mixer from Atalaya. Thank you Atalaya. Super helpful nito sa akin pwibi. Thank you. So start na natin i-open. So exciting. Kita ko na yung pang cake turntable kasama ng mga icing spatulas, pang scrapers, nozzles, icing bags, etc. Ang ganda, ang dami. Yung pang cake cutter ko. Ayan. Tapos yung mga pang cake decorating manual. Checking if complete. So, yun. Set aside na natin. Proceed muna tayo sa next. At ito naman yung pang panin ko. Yung 5 set ng non-stick bakeware. Let's open. Ta-da! Ito na yung first. Yung pang banana bread natin. Second is yung pang cupcake. Pang third, pwede pang lasagna or pang bain marie. Fourth, yung pang cheesecake. Pang fifth, yan yung pang pizza. At ito na yung last, yung removable base plate for cake and cheesecake. Yay! Ayan, bininyagan ko na po ang bigay sa akin na hand mixer from Breville. Ito na po yung first, yung paggawa ko po ng crust or yung base natin para sa cheesecake. It consists of 1 and 3 fourths cup of crushed crayons, 2 tablespoons of sugar, and 1 third cup plus 1 tablespoon of melted butter. Mix until well combined. Then, pwede na po siya i-transfer sa cake ring at i-bake ng 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, for our custard, I add 2 blocks of cream cheese, yung 250 grams each, 1 half cup of sugar, 1 fourth cup of all-purpose cream and 1 fourth cup of condensed milk. Yan, continue mixing lang po. Then add na po natin yung 3 eggs, one at a time. Then, second egg. Ayan, tuloy-tuloy lang halo. Total, dyan naman ako magaling. <laughs> then, add the last egg. Continue mixing lang until maging smooth yung consistency ng ating cake batter. Then, add na po natin ng 3 fourths cup of blueberry compote para sa ating blueberry cake batter. 
Then, ilagay na po natin ang ating cake batter sa 8 by 2 inches cake cream. Make sure na na-bake po ng maayos yung ating crust before natin ilagay ang ating mixture. Ibibake po natin siya through banmari. Banmari is a procedure kung saan maglalagay po tayo ng hot water sa side ng cake cream para ma-prevent po ang pag-dry out ng ating cheesecake. Thank you sa pamanang oven, Ate Claire. Thank you! Set na po natin na 1 hour at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Ito po ang secret sa masarap na cheesecake. Yung Philadelphia brand po ang usual na gamit ko. I'm not advertising this but this is the best cream cheese for me. Philadelphia, bakena man! Then after piping the edge of my cheesecake, I put some blueberry compote on the middle para mas presentable ang finished product. And for the final touch, I add some fresh blueberries on the top of the icing para mas maganda ang presentation ng cheesecake. Tada! This is my finished product of blueberry cheesecake. Ito guys, dahil sinisipag ako, nagtry din ako ng Oreo cheesecake. Sinortcut ko na para mas mabilis. <laughs> Piping time na! For added touch, naglagay din ako ng toppings ng crushed Oreo biscuits. Samahan na rin natin ng Oreo biscuits on the top para mas maganda. Ito na po ang finished product. Yay! So let's go now to our red velvet cake. First, we are going to mix her ingredients such as 3 fourths cup of canola oil, 86 grams of unsalted butter, softened, and 3 eggs, 1 at a time. Then continue mixing until well combined. Then add now your 1 tablespoon of vanilla essence. Then add one and a half teaspoon of white vinegar. Then continue mixing dahil dyan tayo magaling. <laughs> As you can see, hindi pa red ang ating mixture. So we need to add the red food coloring. Then add now the three and a half tablespoon of red food coloring. Depends sa inyo kung gaano kapula ang inyong red velvet cake. Then continue mixing all your liquid ingredients. Then you can transfer now all your liquid ingredients to dry ingredients. Dry ingredients consist of 2 and 1 part cups of all-purpose flour, 3 tablespoons of corn flour, 3 tablespoons of cocoa powder, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, and 1 half teaspoon of baking soda. And make sure that you sift all your dry ingredients before mixing to your liquid ingredients para maging smooth ang yung cake butter. Lastly, add now your 3 fourths cup of buttermilk. Then mix all together using hand mixer. Ayan, pwede na i-transfer ang ating cake batter sa cake cream. And for the panning, we need 2 pieces of 8 by 2 inches cake cream. Before natin ilagay ang ating mixture sa oven, make sure na napreheat natin ang ating oven at 160 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. After preheating, pwede na natin i-bake ng 30 minutes at the same temperature. After 30 minutes, pwede na natin i-check by a toothpick test. Pag walang dumikit sa ating toothpick test, settle na ang ating cake. For our cream cheese buttercream frosting, 
We need 1 cup unsalted butter, 4 and a half cups of icing sugar, 1 and a half cups of cream cheese, 1 and a half teaspoon of vanilla essence, and 1 half tablespoon of lemon juice. Then mix all together. Then put some frosting on the mid layer of our cake. Kailangan natin yan. Kailangan natin ng feeling para may feeling naman siya sa'yo. <laughs> sure. And spread all throughout your cake and scrape the excess frosting and put some designs on the sides. Ito na exciting part, ang favorite ko, ang piping. Add some cake crumbs on the middle para mas maganda ang presentation. In addition guys, uh, gumawa rin pala ako ng red velvet cupcake. Ayan, lagi mo na natin mga pa-design na Christmas tree para feel-feel na ang Christmas sa cupcakes natin. Finally, ito na ang finished product for our red velvet cake and cupcakes. Ikiiman time na! Thank you guys for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time! Bye!